Let's talk about this game because you yeah. were sending me notes all night long mm -hmm. about the spectacular performance by Kevin Durant with the 51. Yeah, well, first off, Toronto was a nine-point favorite. And when you think about um, Golden State playing without Stephen Curry or Draymond Green, they should have won this game pretty easily. Now, they shot close to 64% from the first half, and they were up 18 points. But this is a huge indictment on the Toronto Raptors because if this team, with Kevin Durant scoring 50 points, 50-plus 50 points, has a chance to beat the Raptors, who are considered to be the best team in the East – what does this say about how great the Golden State Warriors are when you add a guy like Stephen Curry who requires you to actually come out and stop all things shooting from the perimeter? It opens up the floor for KD or guys like Draymond or Clay to score more points. So, look, Toronto's a really good team. Celtics are still trying to figure out. Philadelphia's a good team. But by far... You talk about Golden State is a great team, and this just proves it again. And Durant was it ridiculous last night. He, he, he He's the been, most gifted scorer I think the NBA has ever seen. Uh, I don't think He's that's, seven feet tall, yeah. dancing with the ball like AI. I don't even think that's an opinion. I, I, that's a statement of fact. He's the best scorer I agree with you. That, that we have ever seen ever. In, in, in the NBA. But on the Raptors, because everyone knows Kawhi, and they know Lowry, and they don't really know anything else about this team. We talked about Boston and Philly. Just how good is Toronto? What makes them so good? What, they're great because they're versatile. They have a ton of Swiss Army knives. So you have a ton of interchangeable pieces with it. That's Sakium, you know, being down. His length has been great. They can shoot the ball. Danny Green added to the equation, even though he didn't shoot the ball that great last night. Kyle Lowry, actually, this year has been so different for them because DeMar DeRozan doesn't stop the play. He doesn't stop the fluidity of the offense. Kyle Lowry averaging 10 assists per game. That mm -hmm. leads the league. So when you have those pieces defensively, that's what makes him a special team. And you have a closer in Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I get it. No Steph and no Draymond, but a win's a win. And the Raptors get what could wind up being a significant win going forward. Over the final five minutes of the game, Jay Will, you just alluded to this. LeBron scored 12 points and assisted on the other three. It's all him. He dominated possession in that span with 112 seconds of it. More than twice as much time as all of his teammates combined, according to Second Spectrum. So this is what I want to make sure that everybody watching understands. There's a difference between how many minutes you play and your usage. His minutes may not be what they were in Cleveland, but when he's on the floor, the ball is in his hands at all times. And that obviously is what Magic is concerned about. Yes, it's a career low in minutes, around 34.8 per game, but he played 38 last night. And in reality, what you want is different than what reality actually is for the Lakers. And I, I hear everything that Magic is saying, but it is turning into a Cleveland all over again because you don't have Rajon Rondo. He was another guy that was able to make the assist game average around seven per game easy for everybody else. Lonzo Ball is talented. But the ball needs to be in his hands all the time so he can push the ball in the break. He defers to LeBron James. This is not going to happen. So for the Lakers, when you think about Brandon Ingram, when you think about some of the other players that they have, they're not great at creating plays for other people. They're great at creating plays for themselves. And that's why LeBron is going to need to do this. But they're playing. I mean, they broke a two-game losing streak. Yeah. That's what you need him to do. Yeah. Can I ask what feels like sort of a – a silly question, but would Cleveland all over again be that bad? They made the finals all four years he was there. My, my honest opinion on this whole thing, I, I don't see the Lakers making to the Western Conference Finals. That's okay. Mm. You have to get through this year. You have Kawhi, you have Clay, you have big-time free agents, maybe a guy like Kyle Kuzma stays, maybe you have tradable assets in Lonzo Ball, you know, or Brandon Ingram. It's all about building for the future, and that's what they're doing. You have to be patient with yeah. this process. The name Bradley Beal came up a little earlier. Yes. It's hard to be patient when you're dealing with LeBron James.